guys. So today I wanted to film my May favorites. This is my first favorites video, kind of beauty video, anything like that. But I've really kind of just gotten into like beauty products and actually trying makeup ideas and things like that. I am the most makeup illiterate person you'd ever meet. Kind of like a super tomboy. And so, um, but I've been like trying to be a little bit more of a girl. So here we go. Okay, first things first, I kind of wanted to get into my like, you know, facial washes and things like that. And then I'll kind of move into the makeup stuff. Um, right now, I'm finally, I have the most dry skin ever. I just always feel like no matter the amount of moisturizer I put on or anything, I just always feel like it's, it's just so dry and it's, it's kind of a, kind of a thing I'm self-conscious about and so um but then I decided to try this and it's funny because this is the Olay Fresh Effects Shine Shine Go Away I don't have oily skin I've never really had you know shiny skin but you know I really I was interested in trying this part and so got a little got the little pack together and I love it I uh especially because I work in the food service industry and so you know how your face feels after a day of work and it's just gross and ugh, and you just want to just get it all off and so this I found does wonders and I just feel so fresh and clean and I just love how this this whole combo works together and it, it's it's been great for my face and then you know um I just apply a little bit of moisturizer and I'm good to go and I feel like it's as strange as it is my skin doesn't feel quite as dry and so then my next product is um, the botanics the power of plants rose water toning spray I love this this is probably like one of the things I'm most excited to like spritz on my face after washing it and after uh, you know taking a shower and stuff and it just feels good and that's when I apply my moisturizer after that and I've really just noticed a change in my skin overall and I love it so so much and then next getting into like hair products um I have stupidly thick hair like it's not just thick I have a lot of it it's just so much and this is the best attempt of trying to fix it up today I'm I it's just so much to deal with so I have always had the lifelong just struggle with trying to make my hair make it to where I just feel like pretty with it and it's not like this huge helmet or that I look like Hagrid or something like that and so I had went to Sephora once and I had qualified with the points to get uh, you know a free sample and it actually was like this hair care kit sample and it came with the living proof um, anti frizz shampoo and conditioner little packets and so you know I was like well I'm willing to try that I have major frizz problem because I have ginormous thick hair and I fell in love like you know at first it took a lot for me to be able to like take in that I'm gonna spend you know like 50 bucks just on shampoo and conditioner because yes this is kind of pricey but my goodness, like it was night and day. I remember the first time I used it, just washed and dried my hair and I just blow dried it. I didn't need to straighten it. I didn't need to do anything. And it was, oh, it was just like, I'm able to breathe and be like, wow, so my hair can be kind of manageable. So it's a living proof shampoo and conditioner. And um, it smells really good. It kind of has like a citrusy, like orange smell and I love it and I'm almost out of my shampoo because I've actually been because I just dyed my hair I've been kind of using a color protectant for the conditioner so my conditioner is still good to go and then also for you know dry shampoos this stuff right here kind of smells like cocoa powder it's amazing dry shampoo is the greatest thing ever to come out especially once again you know like working somewhere like I have to wear a hat and you know, if you ever have to do something right after, you don't have the time to like, you know, shower and everything. This, this stuff right here, the best ever. And then on to like body washes. Oh, actually I had other hair stuff. I forgot. Also, actually my sister totally got me into this because this is what she used. 
Also kind of going along with the whole anti-frizz giant hair situation. The Fruit Tea Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. Amazing. Just always, always, always. And then also I like to use the Moroccan Argon Oil. Um, weightless Healing Dry Oil by Organics. This, um, I hate, I've been trying so hard to grow my hair out and then I got the bright idea to go blonde, which completely killed my hair and I, I couldn't take it, so that's why I'm back to a shorter hairstyle again. And, but after, if I use any type of heating product or anything, I like to spritz this on the ends especially and a little bit towards just the end of my hair to kind of run it through and I just noticed that my my ends have stayed way more healthy than they had been in the past and you're thankful for that. But um, body wise, uh, I actually used this, I wanted to try it out because I've always used the um, the deodorant that went with this. And so I saw that they came out this and mainly just the smell, pomegranate, lemon, verbena scent. It's, it's amazing. I. Oh, it just smells so fresh. That's probably why it's called Go Fresh. And it just feels good. I just like, I'm a real big like scent person. I love to just smell good and fruity and all that kind of stuff, which leads to my body spray of choice, which I'm almost out of. This is the, this has always been like my go-to. The Pure Seduction by Victoria's Secret. Don't have that much left and I'm sad, but I'm actually about to make myself intro out a little bit more and try something different. And, um... I don't know what to explain what this smells like, but I mean, I'm pretty sure many of you know what this smells like. Red plum and freesia, but it smells like candy. Okay, and now into beauty stuff, and I'm sorry if I'm not going to sound so prolific with this, but like I said, kind of a newbie into really trying to like fully have a makeup routine. So um, my first thing I think this is all because of my friend. She put this on me when we were in a wedding. Um, I've never been a face, full face makeup person, like at all. Mainly the dry skin thing, no matter what I put on there, it would just oh, look flaky and disgusting and gross. But, you know, I was whining because I didn't want to wear anything on my face and she's like, you can't be in a wedding and be on these photos and not wear anything on your face. So she put this on me and the smell, the weight, the everything, I am I fell in love. And it doesn't dry my skin out. And I know, like, I've even tried tinted moisturizers before, and they still, like, my skin just defies all odds and just wants to be dry anyway. So this right here is amazing, and I love it so very, very much. It just doesn't feel like I have anything on, but, I mean, I remember the first time I wore it in front of her, like, doing it myself, and she, like, flipped out, and she was like, oh my god, look at your skin, and I was like, yeah, you noticed, like, right off the bat, so, um, Olay Fresh Effects BB Cream, go to, heck yes, and then next, um, I actually have two things, I've always had really, really bad dark under eye circles, um, and so, I kind of go with two things, I, uh, Decided I saw this on Pinterest. I am a huge Pinterest person, which is another reason why I've been inspired to try and do makeup and things like that. Um, and so, you know, it's supposed to be like, it just will cover anything. So I decided to try it out and I have the Erase Pace in number two medium. And um, wow, this stuff right here. It's, you know, it's, it's a really thick paste and you know, a little goes a long way. I've had this since March and, um, you know, it just, and I've noticed like sometimes like I feel like you accidentally just get too much and it's like, wow, I can use half that amount and it covers everything. And then also I like the Rimmel London Wake Me Up to kind of, I use it slightly as like a highlighter and um, it is in the color Very Fair and it, um, I love it as well. Just between the combo of the two. Sometimes I don't use them both at the same time. I've actually been leaning a little bit more towards this lately and giving this a little bit of a break. But when I know I need that full or if I look like I haven't slept in 10 days, then definitely the erase paste for that. And then um, I actually have a lot of benefit products because I uh, that it came in my birthday little thing at Sephora. And so, um, but one thing I love with when I'm doing my eye makeup is my uh, the um, 
primer that I use is uh, the Stay Don't Stray Benefit. It's a little you know, sample. And it's awesome. I haven't had any creasing problems, any of it wearing off. Like it just really lasts and lasts and lasts. And so I really have enjoyed this. And so then this is kind of one of my pride and joys that I have something kind of legit makeup wise. Uh, my same friend, Haley, um, she told me about it because I always was like saying I want a, I want a naked palette. And she just knows that I'm not going to on my own really go for like the most dramatic eye and so she's like well why don't you check out the basics palette so I have the naked basics palette I'm I love it and so what's really cool is thanks to Pinterest uh, they have a lot of people who've done you know tutorials and they even just have the picture and they'll tell you like what color they use for you know each thing and you know where to apply it and I get compliments like wow look at your eye makeup what do you use and I'm like why that doesn't happen to me and so um i i love it like it's definitely one of the best purchases i've ever made it was just kind of a little random but um i really like for just every day pretty much i do the most basic eye ever um i just use the venus and the i cannot think what the wos stands for right now i don't know why i'm blinking but, um, and the Naked 2. And those are the colors that I use to just kind of create just a little bit of a pretty eye for every day. Very, very natural. And then um, mascara wise, I'm in love with this and I'm almost, and so I feel like once I use the rest of, cause you know, I have a few like drugstore um, mascaras, I think this will be the one that I'm gonna go to. Cause I actually really like dramatic eyelashes even for like during the day. I don't know why, I just like that. So the benefit, they're real love 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 and I like how the brush is um because I like to use it to get all the you know I like the little ball on the end I don't know if there's a way to like really see it but it just you need if you need to just like pull those lashes apart and get to those little bitty ones that are kind of hard to get to so stinking awesome but if I'm wanting to kind of tone it down and not have quite the dramatic eye then I really like the Colossal Volume Express cat eyes these are awesome i maybelline makes really really amazing eye eye products when it comes to like mascara and things like that and i love them and then when it comes to doing like the blush and all that kind of stuff shocker more benefit products um the coralista i love this color it is the prettiest peachiest pink the case i mean how can you not just love the case alone? And it smells so good. It's, I remember the first time I bought it, I was like shocked. I, I never had a Benefit blush before. And I was like, that smells so amazing. And I love it. And so then when it comes to a highlighter, I like to use the What's Up. Um, you know, another one to my little teeny tiny sample things that I have. Oh, also, I forgot. Um, I'm a pasty pasty person I am probably can tell I'm like ghostly white and it's gross and so I started looking up fake tanners one money wise tanning beds and then two you know skin I just uh, I don't you know I don't know I'm not like one of those people who's like gonna preach and be like you know I judge you because you go to a tanning bed I don't my friend goes and she looks fantastic and she's a bronze goddess and I'm jealous. So to kind of achieve what I have, I um, the fake bake, flawless, this stuff right here. I um, looked up about it on Pinterest and then I kind of went to Amazon to check it out and I read up um, all the reviews on it. And every, you know, I had like amazing reviews and they actually had it like $12 cheaper than you would get it like Ulta or something like that. And so it's really cool. It comes with gloves to wear when you apply it. And then it comes two different types, which I don't have. It um, came with, uh, it looks like this. I'm sorry, scatterbrain, I'm jumping everywhere. But um, when it says street free, easy application, it's so foolproof, it's like almost embarrassing. Like, it's, I mean, if I can do it, anyone can do it. And it comes with this little, little mitt and it just 
goes on so and you can see it within minutes like you can tell especially if you like start off really white and you're like yeah look how dark I am um right now I don't have any on because I'm just kind of taking a break and enjoying not having to reapply it but this stuff lasts so long and if you were like in it for the win and you just want that dark color you got it in days and you look like you've been at the beach and I fully support this and I would recommend it to anyone it is absolutely amazing like I said I'm really really into things that are like foolproof if I can do it and I can't do anything you can do it too that's like the biggest thing for me because like I have like I said I have a friend she is a makeup guru and she's amazing and I just could watch her you know do makeup all day every day but like if I she could probably even tell me verbatim at the same time what to do and it would come out looking completely wrong and different and so I just I envy the people who can do that so but if there's just something that I could just one two three step do it and go and I don't look like a fool I'm totally down for that so um but yeah I think that's it these are mainly like I could probably go on and on and on mainly because I haven't ever done this before and so uh but yeah those are all my favorite products for the month of May I already have things in June that I'm like ready to be like yeah I love these but I'm gonna try and build up some new things for June and I'm um, gonna try and get into this and the makeup world and you know, hopefully find people out there who were like, man, I can watch those tutorials and I can't pull it off either. Let's be awesome together and try. And so that's my thing. Like I would love, there's one girl I'd love to watch here who I feel like I understand her and she's amazing. And I can just follow along and be like, I kind of achieved the same thing. So yes, but um, thanks for coming by and watching this and sorry that I rambled and probably like looked like a crazy person doing this the whole time, but, um, come back and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.